what what did i have in my head is okay i wanted to start this program and i wanted to help people to become a entrepreneur intrapreneur and innovator this is what i had in my mind then uh, whatever that i had in my mind i had to put everything in practice to make this program work so i started from zero to whatever that we are here today and there are challenges obviously people come are coming and going which is normal okay i told you lot 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 many times before that people will come and go you should not worry about that that's the nature of the you know nature of the game and um, you need to start looking at uh, irrespective of who is coming and going you have to start looking at how you can continue to build your team continue to keep your team so you can be successful in what you wanted to achieve if you remember i kind of told you guys that um so that's that's what it is all about right um uh i wanted to make sure that next three two to four sessions we are going to do that together and we are going to um, do few things together in a way that we are going to build whatever that idea that you have into a team and a result uh, that you expect it to happen so uh, that's what we're going to do for next uh, two to four weeks um and that might include right not only um, talking about what you're doing it could include uh, helping you to think like an entrepreneur to to really build your team and make it successful okay so that's the that's what we are going to do let's let's get started with uh, one team today and understand what they are trying to do uh, you know let's everyone try to help them right what they are trying to do and um, what are all the different things that we can uh, help that team to become successful so that's the way we all have to think today so today let's all think of us as one single team um, going to help one particular uh, project team okay let's let's uh, get started from that point of view uh, great floor to you to get started and we'll go from there yeah, thanks, Kada. Um, for this presentation, Elizabeth will be um, anchoring it. Over to you, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, I have uh, someone called Evelyn. Is some is, uh, is 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 that person new or no? Evelyn, Evelyn. Elizabeth. Oh, you're talking about somebody else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you unmute yourself, Evelyn? Uh, is it your first session? Mm, okay, now Elizabeth, go ahead. Uh, you know, uh, maybe she can unmute and speak. Uh, he or she late after. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna share my screen, um, guys. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Alright, so good evening, uh, everyone. I'm gonna be rep representing uh, the future to tell you a little bit about our project and what we have been doing so far. So our project, for our project, we are working on the labor market. Um, I'll give you a little bit about the, the team structure. Actually, I'm gonna skip, skip this slide <laughs> and just go right into it. So in terms of our team structure, right now there are five persons in the team. Um, the team is being led by Greg, and our co-lead is Segal. And other members of the team are myself, Ashfaq, and Pankash. Okay. So in terms uh, of our- uh, You also have a profile of each of your team members uh, in your presentation or okay. not? Uh, well, we, don't have, we don't have a profile. Okay, so I, I think in, I, at this stage, let's, uh, let's introduce your team members uh, who they are, what they are capable, what, what they know, and what, you know, I mean, basically their profile. I think okay, that's... So I, I'll start with me then. Sure. So for the for the purpose of this um, project, I, I'm a developer, but uh, um, I'm not an experienced developer. Actually, I'm new to tech. My background is in finance. My exposure to tech is... Um, limited to what I've done in a boot camp. I went to the U of T boot camp in FinTech, fin Financial Technology, which is a six month boot camp. 
And um, that was my exposure to tech. I'm interested in doing data analytics. And so I've been doing a lot of things on my own, like my own training, my own reading, YouTube, et cetera. And um, hence the reason I'm here to get some more tech experience. Um, Greg, you want to introduce? Uh, so let's let's uh, talk a little bit on that, Elizabeth. So you were in the finance industry and you wanted to learn tech and you are here to learn tech and also become an entrepreneur, right? Develop your skills to become an entrepreneur. I think that's, that's what uh, you wanted to do. Uh, let me ask you this question. Why you want to do that? Why do I? <laughs> Based on what I see going on now <laughs> in the world, things are changing. The job, the standard jobs that we are accustomed to are kind of evolving. And um, the, 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 the jobs of the future seem to be going in this direction. And so I'm trying to, to get in before it's too late. OK. Perfect. Good answer. Any questions anyone have in this call for uh, Elizabeth about her as a person? Feel free to ask. <laughs> I um, guess I'm not that interesting a person. <laughs> <laughs> no. You are Elizabeth. So the reason why is the first step of becoming an entrepreneur is to is to really understand oneself and understand the team and see uh, through the eyes of oneself and through the other team members' eyes, right? So this is very, very important uh, if you wanted to be successful. Um, so, so feel free to ask any questions or anything that you guys have to uh, any one of these team members, if not now, offline, right? But, but it's very critical for you to understand. Good. Let's go. Go on. Uh, um. So, Greg. Greg, do you want to introduce? Yeah, yourself? I'll, I'll go last. Let other team members go first. Um, Ashfaq. Yeah. Yes, Elizabeth. Good evening, everybody. Basically, I decided to serve as a developer for this project because I wanted a hands-on experience with developing. I don't have any experience as such on on the development side as a team members we have shortlisted what program programming language we'll be utilizing to develop this project and likewise we will be undertaking the courses develop and learn on our own so that we can develop the software and do the needful Aswar, uh, so, so far you have two team members who is starting from nothing and they wanted to become an uh, entrepreneur or, or intrapreneur or, or innovator, right? That's, that's really good because that's the goal of the Stoper uh, project that we are doing. We wanted to really help the people um, who have no background to really become a tech um, evangelist, right? Uh, so that's the goal, and I'm I'm looking forward uh, to to make this work for you both, Ashwak and Elizabeth. Any questions for uh, Ashwak from anyone? No, good. Let's move on to the next person. Pankaj, Pankaj, or I think Pankaj is there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello, everyone. How are you doing? You're all doing very good, Pankaj. Um, Hi, Pankaj. Hello, hello. Yeah, so uh, what do you want to know from me? Like uh, introduction or? Any... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, 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 what do you do? What is your experience? Why are you in this team? And what do you mm -hmm. want to get out of this? Yeah, so actually last year I started with the, I joined with the test upper and uh, my goal is same, like I want to become a entrepreneur, I want to learn something, new things uh, like development, uh, DevOps, uh, the booming cloud technology, cloud computing, everything is uh, organized by one, under one umbrella. So I, I didn't I don't remember how I joined Testable. 
uh, I think uh, through meetup or something, but I didn't remember exactly how I joined Testover. Eventually, accidentally, I joined it and then um, I found it very interesting and continuously it's uh, almost half an year. I am trying my best to join and learn. So I am basically, I have a bachelor's degree in science chemistry and back home I did uh, uh, I work as a like a quality control and quality assurance analyst mm -hmm. in a science uh, area mm -hmm. and then while doing my job I was uh, learning IT so I did many certificates in IT and then I completed many masters in computers while doing my job mm -hmm. And I immigrated, when I immigrated, then I found it very helpful that at the time I was not thinking about uh, doing a job in IT. So I started with a like a company with a mobile testing and then eventually I entered in the field of software testing and quality assurance. Mm -hmm. So I learned many things like manual testing, automation testing using Selenium and many, many things still I am learning. So I'm a, I, I would say I'm a lifelong long learner and then still learning many things. DevOps, uh, cloud computing, AI, machine learning, and trying to help uh, my team for the future. So I always say my team with Greg and everyone, then we are entrepreneurs. So we all are owner of this team. We need to play all roles like a business analyst, developer or tester or any operation, everything we need to wear all hats that's the thing and yeah so this is the thing why i'm here good 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 and why did you choose to become a developer because you have a test uh, testing experience and so on i actually all other members are interested in testing so i i say i i can learn and i know a little bit of background uh, i i had i have a one job as i did one job as a developer as well so I can try to contribute as many as much as possible. Okay, okay, good, good. Any questions from anyone to Pankaj? All right, let's move on to Sagal. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sagal. Um, I am part of the future team. Um, <clears throat> so a little bit about myself. Um, I am bilingual. I speak French and English. Um, I have also a bachelor degree um, in science um, from Waterloo. And I've been working over 10 years, different sectors, mainly like client facing. Um, and I've also tried to run my own business, <laughs> did not work. Um, so now I'm back to corporate. I'm working uh, for a big company, um, more of admin and sales force um, admin um, role. Um, so why I've joined um, um, this team and also why I'm so interested in this project, I have a lot of passion for like solving real problems for students, for um, I guess anyone who's kind of like disadvantaged. Um, and I, ha I have a very curious mind. I love to learn. I get really, I, I get bored easily. Let's say that's a, it's a good thing in a way, but it's also a bad thing when you're just stuck in one job. <laughs> so that's why I joined. And one of the things that's actually on my bucket list is to write an algorithm. And I'm really looking forward in learning machine, uh, doing a lot of machine learning. And uh, we choose Python and that's what I really want to learn. I do also have experience in SQL. Um, yeah, and I would like to also be a tester, part of the project. Got it's it. a little bit about my, yeah. Got it. This is really good. Um, so prior to this, have you had any software development experience, Sagal? You, oh, okay. So actually the whole, oh, so the real reason why I actually joined this software is every time whenever I go to interviews for specifically like data analyst jobs, which I can do mostly because of you just learn things and dashboards and things like that. They always ask me for experience. Do you have a project? Can we see something that you've built? 
that that's actually why I'm here. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, but have you done coding, hands-on coding in, before? Yes, um, I did. Mainly though in class, not for not for work. Okay, got it. Perfect. Uh, great. Over to you. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, thanks, thanks, Tim, for the uh, profile updates. So briefly about me. Um, um, my name is Greg. Um, I currently work as a business intelligence developer in Pressima. And um, my job function is just to build dashboards for businesses to understand, um, to get insights from their business. So um, why I joined Testopa? So last year, um, my role kind of changed um, from B. I still work as, sorry, as from BI to Tester. So I needed to um, do a lot of testing of um, of the different dashboards my teammates were building. So I needed to understand what the job of a tester is. So I joined Testopa. And uh, funny enough, uh, Summit was taking a course during that time, um, Robot Framework and uh, Robot Framework with Selenium, I think at the time, that was last year. So I joined Testopa. So I, we, we went through the course. Um, then this year, I said I wanted to continue um, learning testing because that was what I was currently doing for my team. So um, then I joined the project team and I saw that the, the project team was a little bit different from what I had intended. Um, which was really good. So um, after the brief introduction Kata uh, gave about um, the Testable projects, I really thought about it and said it was something that I wanted to do. And um, it could be something that could also enhance me to take me um, uh, to the next level in my in my career. Um, so um, that is why I joined Testupa and I'm working with a theme I'm coming every every week to get insights about what entrepreneurs think, how they make decisions has, has been really great. There are, there are times that I thought, is this for me? But um, coming every week, seeing new things, getting to um, work with my team on a weekly basis has helped me to you know, change my idea all around and you know, start bringing new insights, new light into what we can develop together. So um, for my background, I I have a bachelor's degree in economics. That's what I studied, but I'm passionate about um, 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 a software development. So currently um, for my team, I was able to, with the help of Summit, because we work together, is the architect in my organization. I was able to set up a framework for my team for automated testing with Java. So um, I had to learn Python to test that was initially that was last year and this year I've been working with Java to do that and I was really glad when um, when Testopa introduced the um, microservices architecture um, which I've been studying to also help me um, enhance my um, back-end development ideas so generally um, I'm interested in the end-to-end -end process and I'm trying to learn new things as an entrepreneur as even as a person to um, so that they can develop. So now if you look at this uh, team composition, right, Greg, um, I mean, uh, you are a team of five people. Um, who some have some kind of uh, development experience and tech experience and many don't. And you have come together to, to team up to make something work for you, right? I mean, this is the perfect uh, team that I can, it's a perfect dream team that I can think of uh, forming within the Testoper project, right? But th this is this is really good to start with. Now, when we wanted to go to the next step, right? There are a few things that we need to do. And, and what are those few things? We are going to take, take it as an action as we move forward, okay? So now let's move on to the next slide. This is really good so far. Okay, so a little bit about our mission and our vision. So in terms of our mission, we want to create a product that will assist or guide students in their career planning process. Now, that, that's a mouthful and that will entail a lot. In terms of our vision for this product, we're expecting that this product will provide information about jobs 
that could potentially be obsolete or redundant in the future. So hopefully through this um, through this product, students will have a better idea of what will not be necessary <laughs> in the future so they don't spend time learning those skills, right? We're also hoping that this product will provide information about the jobs or skills that will be in demand in the future. So we will be better able to guide them accordingly. Um, we're hoping that this product will match students' interest or natural abilities um, with best fitting jobs and career choices. So, you know, even us growing up, um, when we were students, we may have had some interest or some natural abilities, but we might not know how to use those and create a career out of it. So we're hoping that uh, this product will be such that it can help guide people like these uh, or steer them into the right career paths. Um, our vision also is that this product will be able to make suggestions or recommendations on the course of study that the student will need to do if they want to pursue a particular career choice. So this is our mission and our vision um, for the product. Okay. Uh, hold, uh, holding the thoughts there um, and also coming back to the team's team thought and holding the vision and mission thought. So this is something that you wanted to really help students. Now, now you got to start thinking like an entrepreneur, right? So now, have you gone to any universities or schools, have spoken to the, you know, the, the teachers, um, lecturers and faculties there to share your mission and vision? This is what you wanted to do and get their confidence and help. Have you done that so far? We have not, not done that. Okay, go ahead, Greg. Yeah, we've not we've not done that, but we actually conducted a survey, um, um, trying to get feedback from um, high school students to really understand what they are currently facing. Once we get that feedback, once we analyze the results, we can take it a step further. But well, that is the first stage for us. Good. So now let me ask you this question: Where are you? Most of your team members are located physically: Brampton, Mississauga, Toronto. Or or widespread. Wide, we are widespread. Um, I'm currently located in Cambridge, Ontario. Uh -huh. um, yeah, others can. I'm in Brampton. Okay, so you know one thing that we what we can do is uh, how many of you out of five people are in Brampton? In your team. I'm in Brampton. So, I think just myself and Sagal. Sagal. Okay, two of you are in Brampton. Um, I am in Toronto, but I can come to Brampton. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. We will have a party towards the end of this year. All will be vaccinated, and we're going to have a good party on this uh, test over projects. Trust me, uh, we're going to we're going to have fun. Uh, but for now, my thought process is, it's okay. Not everybody can come together. It's okay. But my thought process is, pick like for example, in Algoma University in Brampton, right? Try to reach out to faculties and uh, teachers and sh tell them, hey, um, you know, the Testoper community is 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 uh, actually from Brampton, blah, blah, blah. And there's one program and this is what we wanted to build. And we wanted to see if, how you can help us to do this. So now it attacks uh, two things uh, at, at the same time, right? Um, one thing is if they are going to support you, they will probably uh, see if some of the students who already know and have a good know-how on programming can help you to build this product together, right? And the second thing is it will help you to refine your mission and vision to focus on minimum viable product that you wanted to do and then get that going. So now you all five as an entrepreneur, the first action that you sh should take, uh, already you have crossed the multiple stages, right? You have formed the team, whatever that we discussed in foundational elements, you have gone, gone through multiple things already. Now you are in a stage where you got to really take this to the next level. Your team should grow and you need supporters who can help you to turn your vision and mission into a reality. So the first step that I would do is I would choose one university or college or a school, whatever, right? If your focus is to the university students or college students, you can even focus college students is, is, is okay, right? 
and and find a college and go and uh, uh, research who are all the lecturers and see you know present you know whatever whatever the designations that they have in their um, you know universities and reach out to them linkedin and then ask them for a meeting and do this this is this is very critical for you to become a um, a first step in your entrepreneurship journey i'll relate it back to only I'll, you know i can say a number of other examples that i have practically seen and also have um, seen others doing it but i will always uh, take here as an example testopper community so when we had an idea to form this testopper community to really serve people uh, to help people um first thing that we decided as we wanted to start this as a non profit right so that nobody has a mentality to run this business as a profit and the second thing that we did was we went and started talking to different cities and different um, uh, people who would actually support us to launch right and uh, we went and finally we decided to launch this in brampton because the brampton city supported us and because they supported us we launched in brampton and we were doing lot of in person events in brampton before covid hit us and we were doing events where more than 100 people were coming and attending our events right um so so the example that i'm saying that is because you need someone to support your mission and vision a reality so today for testopper i have brampton and then slowly and i'm trying to see who else slowly slowly can become a supporter to make this uh, vision true now if you look at lot of open sources that are out there right whether it is a linux foundation open source or any open sources that are out there you will always see there is some company behind the scene is is really propelling that uh, and and a strong advocate or or ardent proponent of that particular uh, uh, activity and and you need that foundation and you need that backing and i i am there uh, to back you guys right but outside of me you also need someone to really back you to become make your mission and vision true and that should be your first as an entrepreneur that should be your first hunt after the stage where you are in so i would sincerely recommend that you know because elizabeth and uh, and i think sagal is in brampton i would probably go to the algoma university not in person because of covid as you all know but i would go and research algoma university who are all the things and there will be an innovation division in algo algoma university there will be multiple things within an algoma university algoma university and try to find the right team right place right individual who can back you to support this can you take that as an action please we will yes we can we yeah will. yes yeah we can do that you have to you yeah. have to. this is very very critical without backup um, you know this this will not you would be surprised there will be a lot of people you would find who wants to really help you you would find 99% of the people who will not want to help you and you will find that one person and that one person will be a lot of people who wants to help you but you got to take your first step okay all right let's go on to the next slide our strengths and weaknesses <clears throat> So in terms of our strengths as a team, we have a we have a dedicated and committed team. So from the introductions, you know that we're not all tech people. We don't all have extensive experience in tech, but um, we are all very passionate about the product, about the project. And so we we are committed to doing the work that is required. in order to see the project too so we do have a very dedicated team another strength is that we know our main competitor so through um extensive research um <clears throat> we know who the main competitor is we know what they offer in terms of their product how the product works and so i think that we are in a position to produce something with with added value or our added features when compared to what they offer so so that is something that we have going for us i i want to comment one thing there elizabeth I, you know i i used to be associated with one person and his name was emil right and uh, when he came here i think he came from vietnam or or some place i forgot uh, it's been a while that i have kept uh, not kept in touch and recently he sent me a message hey kadar you were looking to do something uh, that you are passionate about would you like to join uh, uh, my company but this guy who came here he was actually selling 
um, you know, I will try to see if I can get him in one of our sessions to share his uh, journey to you guys, like 10, 15 minutes. Um, he is not a technical person. He knows nothing, right? And uh, he came here and um, uh, he was selling uh, mats, right? Door-to-door uh, -door -door selling mats. And now he is a CEO. You know, he went and attended a lot of uh, community activities, hackathon, and he got inspired in one of the hackathon to build his own company. And then he had an idea and he went to some, you know, I think Ryerson University and he got a support from one of the lecturer and they start building that company. And uh, now that company is, he's built that company to a level, he's from Oakville, right? He, he built that company. He grew from nothing to whatever he is in front of my eyes in last two and a half, three years here, three years, okay? And he grew his company and he sent me a message a month ago. Hey, Khadar, do you, would you like to join my company? <laughs> I I am telling you this because um, you know you you don't need to be technical, right? So this is the beauty, right? So a lot of technical guys they wanted to really make money. So wherever the money is, they will come and start working. So when you are an entrepreneur, when you have a money and they, you can hire a lot of tech guys to come and work for you. <laughs> it's easy thing to do, okay? But but yeah. you know. I, I really want to, you know, you give me a second here. I think this is, his name is Emil, uh, Emil Silverstein. Yeah. And, uh, you know, can you, uh, can you go to, do you have a LinkedIn, Elizabeth? If I have a LinkedIn? Yeah. Do you use LinkedIn? I do. Yes. Uh, so if you can go to the LinkedIn and I will send you this um, link here. I wanted to open this. Um, then let me search that person here. Oh, it's not. Sorry, one sec. I just need to bring up my uh, noise. You want LinkedIn? One sec, I'm coming. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so you want to see who? Uh, I'm just going to send you the link. And, oh. and uh, I in hope. In the chat? You, yeah, in, in the chat, in the chat, Microsoft Teams chat. Okay. And if you click that and, and open that. Um. Okay. So yeah, this is the person that I'm talking about. See, he's hiring. Okay. <laughs> and uh, if you go down, um, you know, if you go down to his profile, uh, you wanna go? Yeah. If you, you mean click on? No, just go down. Oh, let's go down. Okay. See. Oh. Okay. You have, see, June 2018, he started this company, right? Not too far ago. And uh, when he started, he was all alone. I as a team, we'll look at his team. See, before that, you see here, October 2020, he was a member of uh, some something he joined. And all these things he joined because he wanted to smart city lead. He became Techstars um, uh, Oakville. He was trying to do some uh, hackathons. And before that, he was doing small, small, small stuff, right? 2014 and all. These are all a small, small business that he was doing. But if you go down, you know, when he came to Canada, right? Uh, he came, I think, 2018 or something like that. And then he was selling, like I said, mats. And then now, if you go up, then he started studying, right? Uh, in Massachusetts, uh, some courses and all. Then you just click on that iris, the icon there in the left. In the left, that icon. Click that icon, iris, yeah. Click that. So now he has like 13 employees and he has funding from, uh, you know, uh, government and he has investors and he's hiring people and he's growing. Mm -hmm. Right. So he knows nothing about coding. <laughs> Interesting. Zero about coding. Right. Now he has one. He is building a product. Click visit website, please. Click visit website. Now he is building a product that basically 
uh, if you go down, Iris Go, right? Just go down. <laughs> it basically, uh, you know, uh, some of the IoT devices, you can put it into the car and uh, public transportation. When the car is traveling uh, around the road, automatically um, it detects the potholes and uh, takes care of the record. And how does he know about it, right? He's been researching, researching how different act things that our city does. And he finds out some of the things that are manually done by the city and he tries to come up with an idea to automate that and do it using software. Mm -hmm. And then slowly, slowly he evolved. See, smart and powerful. Slowly, slowly he evolved and he became an entrepreneur in three years time. No, 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 um, not, yes. not long ago. From nothing to become an entrepreneur and he's offering me a job now. <laughs> Right. So this is this is uh, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Right. Um, and and um, yeah, you know, you should actually if you guys want, you should actually reach out to him and say Khadar referred me to reach out. And I wanted to really know more about you if he's kind enough, if he helps. Uh, let's see. Uh, but you should, you know, if you want to reach out, you can reach out. But this is a good example that I wanted to give you. And no, don't don't worry about that. You are not a tech person. Think about identifying the problem that that you wanted to solve. And then go behind figuring out what are all the things that you need to do to solve. You will reach your goals. That's my message, Elizabeth and team. OK, let's go back to your presentation. I, I really wanted to give that example because you said, uh, Elizabeth, we are not tech people. So don't think that. No, I said we're not all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't think that only the tech people can make miracles. OK, and and. Uh, and if you go towards the right uh, right step and and your team can make um, uh, wonders trust me okay, okay. So i think we did our strengths so a little bit about our weaknesses so in terms of the team obviously we have a very small team so we're limited in terms of the number of members that we have to spread the workload albeit the workload is not that great right now but as you can imagine as the product progresses, you know, there are a lot of work involved. So ideally we want to get some more members in our team. And of course I'm throwing it out. If there's anybody new on the call and you're looking for a team, this is a great team to join. So you can reach out to any one of us and we will we'll embrace you. Um, the other weakness is probably in terms of finance, because just because we don't yet know um, what financial requirements will be needed or even how we will source those. But obviously it's working progress, like I said. So when we get to that stage, we'll figure out, as Kada said, it's a learning process and we'll learn together. So we'll figure out, of course, he's there to guide us. So we'll figure out the financial part of it. So we're not really concerned, but um, just to put it in there that it's still a part of our working progress. Um, Opportunity, I think we have a very great opportunity to, to leverage AI so that it can help us to do some of the stuff that we want to do, like predicting the jobs of the future and a lot more of what we hope the product will offer. But we are well placed to use uh, cutting edge technology to help us to advance our products. Um, in terms of uh, so in terms of basically uh, you guys wanted to build a product that is AI based like like same thing the example that Emil guy right he uh, he adopted AI to to do to solve the the city infrastructure problem so that was his idea right he wants to solve the city infrastructure related problems using AI now <laughs> what you have is similar thing you wanted to um, solve the students problems with AI Right, so try to align um, and and see how how it how it looks. Right, this is a good thing. Move forward, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, now in terms of threat, uh, one of the biggest threats is that a new and similar product could come on stream at any time. So the challenge is to ensure that we have a product that uh, can basically stand up to scrutiny or you know stand the test of time and really meet the needs of the users, something to set us apart from whatever the competition might bring that we didn't foresee. Right, right. Uh, so the another thing I want to tell you is like, you know, when a company starts, right, um, even though their mission and vision is intact, but they move over and uh, maneuver uh, in different directions to make themselves always unique throughout the process, act and adapt. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, 
this is quite normal so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, your competition competition will always be there uh, and you just have to figure out the way how you can survive you know together with the competition in this uh, in this uh, market that's what you need to worry about so never worry about too much uh, you got to have lots of knowledge about competition but you should never worry and get scared about uh, competition you always have to figure out a way to 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 kind of um, you know uh, live your life uh, in, in this market uh, space because a lot of entrepreneurs uh, one mistake that they do right is because hey there is a competition and i will not be able to succeed in this market and and they will never uh, you know uh, do anything right so just uh, you have to avoid as a person on that Cool. Okay. Like slide, please. Okay. So just a little bit of what we have done um, so far. So we have identified the industry that we belong to. <laughs> um, so we belong to the diversified consumer services, and within that, we're part of the educational services. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, I think it's very important for you to understand the industry that you operate in. Um, if you can find out who are the main players in the industry, what are the factors that affect the industry, etc. So the more knowledge you have, is the better you are able to maneuver yourself, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have also narrowed down our market segment. So initially, when we when we started or we decided to embark on this product. Um, we had to figure out, well, who who is our market? Who is it that we're producing this product for? And we quickly realized that there are several players in this market. We could be pitching this to immigrants. Immigrants would be one sector of the market that would use this, would find this product um, helpful. We could consider students as well. Also college, universities, basically training institute would um find our products of use to them but rather than doing one pro doing a product to to satisfy all these different sectors we decided that we would just zero in on one and build a product for that one and then further on we could enhance it to incorporate the other players and so we decided to go for the students so we have narrowed down our market segment to students um, and then based on that, we created our opportunity statement. So um, it basically just helps us to understand exactly why we want to produce this product to students. <laughs> why is there a need and how does it benefit them? How does it benefit us to produce um, this product? And that was part of our opportunity statement. And then, like I said, through extensive research, we were also able to identify who our main competitor is. So there is a similar product existing right now, which is used predominantly in the school board right across Canada, which is called My Blueprint. What we are proposing to do is similar to what My Blueprint does, but obviously we are trying to kick it up a notch so we know who our main competitor is. Yeah, this is uh, actually good. Why, you know, because you can go and talk to that university uh, and if they're using my blueprint, uh, you can ask them what is, you know, are you happy with it? What is that missing in blueprint? That high school, Okada, it's, it's, it's a product for high school, high schoolers. Okay. So our, our, our product is also um, aimed at high schoolers. Got it, got it. So what I'm trying to say is it's actually a good thing that you identified the competitors because you can actually go and talk to these people, whoever is using the product to understand how they are benefiting, why they are using this product and uh, what additional features if they, if, you, if they have in this product they would uh, buy from Blueprint and then that becomes your unique uh, thing that you would do to, to help um, your product to be absorbed by the market, right? So that's it's actually a good thing that you have identified the competitor. That's my point. Okay. And then so moving forward now um, to the next stage, which is actually um, to start creating the product. Um, in terms of our framework, we have decided that we want to choose Python as our main um, programming language. So this is all we have done. Okay, so it cannot be just Python, right? You also have to have a front end and all back end database and, and things like that. We'll, we'll look at it in our uh, subsequent sessions. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, Python is one programming language which is good, but but you also have to have many other things to build a product. Uh, Python is good for AI modeling, back uh, back end, and all those kind of things, right? Uh, but front end UI, you need to have experience in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, why I, that's, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Greg. Yeah, yeah, that's why I spoke with you, Carter, yesterday. If we could get a, an Angular master class for the front end. Yeah, I mean there are some tools like uh, Django or, or things like that, right? So let's let's try to figure out uh, what it is in the subsequent sessions. Okay, good. Let's move on. I, I think I'm getting where we are. <laughs> so what we're doing in organizing the data, we have done a survey. I think Greg spoke about that. Um, before, so the survey, the aim of the survey is to get feedback from the users or the potential users so we can kind of gauge what is it that they want and help us in um, articulating the product. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm going to take the opportunity also to say that we're not really getting as much traction. Oh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. It's somewhere there. And uh, we're also refining our requirements by collating user stories. So again, this is to help us to fine tune um, the product, exactly what features we need and just exactly how the product is going to work. So that's mm -hmm. what we're working on now. And in terms of our project management, we are using Jira. Mm -hmm. It's part of our project management. Um, it's a learning process. There are so many groups who are already familiar with it. So they are, we're all learning together. And the same with Git, we are using Git for um, version control. So again, those who are not familiar with it are getting familiar and the learning process is going on. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we're also we're also learning new skills. So each we're each using different resources to enhance our skills, um, IBM skills skill build, et cetera, and other resources that are available. So each person know that we are supposed to be practicing on these platform, trying to new to learn these new skills that are going to be required as we move further and further into the project. And we're trying to define roles for each team member. Got it. And uh, the survey that you did, how many people responded? So far, I checked today, it's 15. We're not getting much traction. It's part of our challenge. We have it on the slide. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now we can. Why you're not getting traction? How can we make that traction work more? Um, is 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 something that we need to think about, right? We will we'll talk on that in our next session as yeah. an action. Briefly on the next slide. So. Um, so what we need now is to actually start building the architecture for our products and um, product design. I guess we need to start getting technical. Um, like I said before, we need role definition. So we have our product owner, project manager, front end developer, etc. Just all what is needed to move to the next stage. Um, obviously down the road we'll need to do some marketing advertising and uh, everything else that comes with launching a new product um Cara is gonna help us with that yeah. <laughs> obviously. in terms of um challenges um one of our biggest challenge is recruiting new team members i already said if you are on this call and you don't have a team please feel free to reach out to us we're actually inviting you to come and see our session tomorrow and um, be a part of this great movement. Um, the, um, we need challenges. We need a deep understanding of the financial aspect of the project. I spoke a little bit about that before. That's further down the road, and I guess we'll cover it when we get there. And then our other biggest challenge is in terms of the survey. We're not getting the kind of traction that um, we would have hoped for at this point because we did post it on all the social media um platforms but we're still not getting it i have here that the link is posted in the chat it's not there yet so greg you might want to post it in the chat yeah, I'm doing and it inviting now. the others i so mean let's everybody take, let's on the call. Point. yeah let's take an action point 13 of us are in this call let's take an action point over this weekend first of all all 13 of us in provide the uh fill the survey and number two we all of us will uh, are, are going to reshare this survey and do a posting in LinkedIn. Let's take so that. Just on a point, 
clarity that the survey needs to be completed by students because or isn't that so oh, okay. it's the users right so right. we're trying to target high schoolers but at least everybody on the call yeah. knows now parents you you're telling me the actual problem you are trying to um, target the students but you are trying yeah. to post it in linkedin where the students are normally not there yeah, but even posting it here in the chat, I'm saying that we all know parents. So if we can share it in my LinkedIn post, we did say that it is for Canadian high schoolers. So uh -huh. we're just asking our contacts to share it with their students, share it with parents that they know who will pass it on to the students. OK, so I'll tell you in this call, we have a student, a high schooler, uh, Mukit, uh, and uh, you should probably reach out to him. He can just send it to his friends. So you can get more than 1500 uh, responses. Already... <laughs> OK, and Great. those of us here share it with parents and parents will pass it on to the students. The students go to school, pass it on. But yeah, so that's one of our other challenges. And um, the other challenge though is to connecting with startups that have gone through the whole process from concept to launch so we can share some ideas. Kara had um, previously mentioned reaching out to university and um, trying to get other people to come on board to guide us. So I guess we can incorporate that as well along here with this. So um, yeah, just want to take the opportunity to shout out to Farhan as well. I don't think he's on the call, but um, we want to thank him for his men mentorship thus far. It's been real helpful and very insightful and it's, it's really helped us along. Okay. And that brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. This is really good. Oh. So first of all, I wanted to, you know, guys, let's let's all uh, unmute and uh, give a round of applause to this team, first of all, right? Um, I'm going to say one, two, three, you guys unmute it and please give a round of applause, please. Everyone, can you unmute? Mickey, yeah. Mickey, Ashwak, Ashwin. OK, one, two, and three. Awesome, awesome. See, first of all, uh, when I looked at this presentation, I was just having goosebumps, right? I, you know, I was, I was really, really uh, so happy to really see in last four months uh, from where you were to where you have come. What you presented today is not a, it's a great achievement, Elizabeth and the team, you all, first of all, have to be very proud of. Uh, the immediate action that I can tell you right now is two things, right? Um, one thing is, I want you all to, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of a strategy in a way that first let's let's reach out to the if you're if you're uh, focusing on high schoolers, can you identify the school, uh, one school, and identify the teachers or whoever, you know, and and try to reach out to them and try to build a relationship with with them and try to understand the problems. Um, of of their school related to your vision and mission um, and and uh, gain some confidence out of that that's the first action point i think you need to do okay um, if you could someone in your team can take that as an action one or two people not everyone um, identify the school and uh, get a person who can really support you guide you uh, to help you realize what, what you're doing is the right thing or modify to help you to modify to get to doing the right thing. That's the most important thing right now as first action. And then the second action is um, you have come to this stage, right? Uh, uh, do you guys know how to create a pitch deck? Not really. <laughs> no. Uh, have you guys heard of anything called the hack? Have you attended any of you any hackathons? No. No. Okay. Uh, let's go. You know, the technical thing, the coding that you're going to learn and all those things you got to do in parallel. Okay. I mean, you're already doing it. Continue doing that. And I think you will, um, you know, that that's something that we will discuss in our uh, next one, focusing on technical stuff. But today, what I wanted to say before closing, this is two actions for your team. First action is go get confidence, uh, collaboration, collaborative partnership with one school or college, whatever that your end target is, and share this idea with them and try to see if somehow 
you need to figure it out somehow get help from someone who is your executive sponsor when i say executive sponsor it's not about money right um it's about um who accepts your idea and he, he who wants to genuinely help you in the domain that you wanted to build this product for so your domain is education and um, school um, then you got to have a have a uh, someone who is going to be your um, your uh, trusted advisor so that's your first action and how are you going to do that is reach out collaboration reach out oh, oh, <laughs> reach out reach out and if you want some help what you can do is um use brampton right um in in brampton try to identify something and and if you want some introduction what we can do is we can reach out to the city of brampton uh, some of the gentlemen are there like um, uh, there is someone called daniel if you go to the if you go to um, brampton entrepreneur center if you open the open the browser uh, uh, elizabeth and go to brampton entrepreneur center Okay, just one sec. I had stopped sharing, but I'll go there. Brampton Entrepreneur Center. Yeah. Let me also search this and give you the link that makes it easy for you. Um, Hi, I, I just wanted to interject for a few seconds and also say that shout out to Shad who came to support us and giving us ideas about Jira. Yeah, shout out to Shad. Yeah, thanks Shad. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Most welcome. Anytime. Anytime. Okay. Um, Brampton Entrepreneur Center, right? Yes, it's right there in the. Is this is this is free e-learning? No, it is a entrepreneur center, right? Um, Resources. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, t -t -t let me check. There should be um, some contact there, seminars and events. They're looking for um, the contact. About us. Yeah, there's con. Well, contact numbers. Getting something. I'm also searching here. Yeah. Yeah, send, send, yeah, this is the one, right? Send to this email and tell them, hey, you know, um, we are a, uh, we, we, you know, we are a team who wants to build, we have a team who have an idea who wants to build this product. And uh, we are trying to do that from Testo per community. And um, I wanted to reach out to you to get some uh, entrepreneurial advice. Um, there is a person called um, Daniel. Uh, he will basically tell you guys uh, different thing, how you can actually start the company and so on. Um, what kind of grants and many things. Let me see if I can. Kader, we're, I think we're on this. You're on the Slack channel. That's actually how I found you, right? On that same Brampton City Slack channel. Yes, yes. Okay. Are, are you in the Slack channel? Yes, I am. Yeah. Can you add all of your team members into the Slack channel, please? But I, do I have access to add it to the channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can invite people to add. Okay, I can do that then. I'll look into that. Okay. This is what I want to really do, right? Um, so get every one of you into that uh, channel. And then uh, in the channel, you would find this person, Daniel Bushan. Refer my name and tell them, hey, this is what we do. And we need your, we need your help. Uh, to validate our idea and I wanted you to introduce us to some schools where we can go and validate your idea and copy me. Okay. Okay, I'll work on the invitation. Yeah, it's easy. Um, in the, you know, if you open the Slack, let me see if I can actually, I don't have the Slack open, but let me see. Um, I'm sharing this. So this is right, uh, uh, Daniel Shen, and uh, he is in the city of Brampton. He's the business advisor. And the job of this person in the city of Brampton is to really help the people to become, uh, facilitate whatever is required to become an entrepreneur. 
now it's that you have an idea vision and mission you go and talk to him and ask him uh, help uh, about introduce give give introduction to some schools so that you can go and validate the problem and things like that so that's going to be your first so the first challenge that i'm giving you is that you know identify a trusted advisor um you know who can support you and in order for you to go and hunt like greg said reach out now in order for you to reach out and i'm giving you a forum where you can actually go to this brampton entrepreneur center which is one of the smaller operations within within city of brampton and uh, in the brampton entrepreneur center if there was no covid you can actually go there sit together and work in that space for free you can register yourself as uh, as a company that you are working on to build together and 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 when you go it's it's because of covid you're not able to do right you can actually go and sit there and work together for free okay so um but nevertheless you know reach out to this person and i am giving you one lead and and let's try to make this lead work for you to get the right school who can uh, right school or a person in that school who can be a trusted advisor for you to help you to move forward with your uh, mission and vision and ideas okay that's number one and then the second action that for you is i wanted you to research how to create a pitch deck i will also try to uh, you know um, come up with a session to help you guys uh, to explain how to create a pitch deck but before that i wanted you also to um, do your own research how to create a pitch deck why i am telling this is because you have an idea vision and mission now whatever that the foundational elements that you learn from me will already um, uh, have taken you to a stage or or a person with a knowledge you can make a pitch deck if you know how to make a pitch deck so research um, and identify how to make a pitch deck is the second action for you and then the third action is continue learning the technical stuff whatever that you have been learning and let's circle back next week uh, on these two actions not only for your team but also for the other teams you can also do the same thing okay and uh, and and um, let's let's talk more about the team 2 and team 3 their progress in our next meeting so this is the slack channel let me see if i have a brampton here yeah it's a brampton here uh, can you see my screen yep so here uh, right this is the city of brampton slack um, and here what you can do is i think you can click here drop down uh, invite people to brampton slack and then you can put their email address and then you can do or invite your teammates with this link copy 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 let me see if i can put it here right you can click that to join the uh, slack channel so why did i tell the first two things as an action uh, as an entrepreneur you first step for you is forming a team second step for you is having an idea and what you wanted to achieve and third step for you is networking now i am taking you you have already crossed the first two stage i'm very very happy about it now the third stage for you is networking and uh, going and talking to people um, understanding what are all the things that are out there when you do this automatically you will form the team you will have a way forward way forward to do whatever that you wanted to do so the third most important thing for you is now networking and start with slack channel um try to reach out to the people in the slack channel of brampton say hey i'm a, i'm i'm a, you know from the testoper community and we we came together and we formed the team and we need your help uh, uh, blah 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 and then reach out to daniel and try to network reach out to different people try to network 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 that's going to be your action so that you are able to solve the two problems right the first problem is get the trusted advisor right and the second problem is um, create the pitch deck those are the two takeaways for you today um, uh, greg and the team is that is that clear or you have sure. any questions sure yeah sure. we're good okay let's let's go with this and i wanted you to do this for next to two weeks right uh, and and you will see you know when you say i am from this brampton and i need your help blah 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 you might get some traction let's learn from it you might get traction you might not get traction then let's figure out what else can we do to get this traction and find so you know it's always good to have lots of problems and and uh, try to figure out 
the solutions one after another, one after another. Maybe when you try to find out a solution for a problem, you might encounter another problem. That's also good to have, right? Find a solution. You might find out another problem and the life goes on and the life is full of problems and you have to find solutions to reach your destination. And that is how it works. And, and that is what the mindset that I wanted to build in, in you guys, right? Uh, the, 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 the characteristics and, and the attitude or whatever that you call it as built in your uh, team and as an individual. If you have that, then you will succeed. All clear? Sure. Thanks, Kaza. Perfect. Uh, we, I know that we haven't focused on technical stuff. We will get there, okay? Uh, after another two teams presentation, um, but at this stage, what I gave you, these two inputs are very critical for you to be successful and move to the next step. Uh, in our next uh, Friday session, uh, let's hear from uh, other two teams. Um, so who would be presenting? Mickey, you would be presenting um, from your side uh, for your team. And uh, who will be presenting for Fiend's team? Just wanted to make sure. Hello, Mickey, you are on mute. Yeah. I could do it. OK, and what about uh, Fiend's team? Who would be presenting? Ashwin, you will you be or? Uh, Kadar, I discuss with uh, my team mm -hmm. and uh, I will ping you over text. OK. All right, so uh, let me be very open. If your team is not uh, coming together, you are always open. You already have an invitation from Greg's team right, to join. Um, but yeah, me offline. Let's uh, let's talk about it. Sure, sure. Right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll let you all go then. Eleven minutes over time today. Uh, I trust uh, we all learned something from Greg and the team, um, and and uh, the way that they have matured from nothing to whatever they are today. I'm very happy. Now let's all help uh, Greg's team to go to the next step and and become successful in what they are trying to do. And likewise, we will do for other two teams uh, in our next uh, meeting, depending on um, where they are and how their progress are. And worst case, worse, maybe we'll merge all the teams and make the great team bigger team. <laughs> we'll figure that out in the process. Okay. Great. All right, Thanks, Thank you. All right. Pankaj, you have uh, raised your I, hand. Something to say. Yeah. yeah so actually, in re regarding to our first action point that reach out to school or any any find some resource, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I have a concern, right? One concern, right? Uh, all schools and all school boards or our schools and all students and teachers and guidance counselors are using the my blueprint. So it's our main competitor, right? As I said in the comp and presentation. Mm -hmm. So my blueprint has already 360 plus school boards, 6,500 plus schools, mm. and 1 million plus users. So if we reach out to them, they are probably saying that we already have some product and we already using, our students are already using this. So I have a concern like will they uh, willingly uh, help us or not or something like that? Unless and until you don't try, you don't get an answer, right? Let's go ahead and try it, Pankaj. Mm -hmm. And you're not trying to go and sell them now, right? You are basically trying to go and find out what they are using, uh, how they are benefiting from that, or uh, do they see any pain point in using that? Um, would, would they like to have an alternative solution uh, or, or a feature that could help them better than the, the product that they are use, using today? And maybe, you know, when you talk to network network, when you talk to 10, 15 people or 20 people, maybe one person might not like that product and he might want to help you to build something that that is better than that product. So unless and until you don't try it, you won't uh, have the answer, Pankaj. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe you will never get an answer. Doesn't matter, but this is the process as an entrepreneur that you have to go through. Uh, the entrepreneurs have to be open and they have to be, um, you know, um, working with uh, with uh, with the domain experts to really build their product. Take an example, Emil that I gave you, right? Uh, he knows nothing about AI. I'm, I'm pretty sure even today he knows nothing about AI, maybe something over the process that he has learned. Uh, but he had a problem that he wants to solve, the infrastructure problem, and he started connecting with the domain experts and start talking with them, partnering with them, 
and um, you know bringing them on board and and you, if your team has to be successful right mm-hmm. you have to only for six of you cannot make this successful right because you, none of you in your team is a domain expert yeah you need to bring in couple of guys who are the domain experts even they don't have any knowledge on uh, on uh, on pro- you know uh, the the programming languages and stuff like that but a couple of domain experts have to be in your team to really um help you with uh, with your ideas products requirements to whatever that you wanted to build mm-hmm. make sense yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah you have to you have to do uh, otherwise this otherwise it will become like a school project right uh, I, i don't mind you guys doing like a school project in here and learn how to build a project uh, a, a software product or a project you can you can do that in test over project um, program nothing wrong in that too right even that is something that you're learning but i'm trying to really help you guys to go to the next level that is all i'm trying to do yeah that's why yeah, we are uh, we want to become a future work workforce right so that's why we are learning the new I want, new things i want to become millionaires <laughs> 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 definitely you are on the right track um, uh, greg we will we'll, you'll all be, will be successful when you become a millionaire take care of me too uh, <laughs> sure <laughs> all right guys uh, fun uh, it's really great fun uh, of uh, of um, you know having you guys and and meeting you guys every friday i i can't wait for to meet you guys next friday and i just can't wait uh, this covid go away to meet you all in person too um so let's let's uh, hope for the best and take care stay safe uh, see you see some of see you some of your some of you in tomorrow session or or otherwise uh, in our next friday session take care bye bye okay bye guys see you next week. Uh, thank you everyone Thanks and bye.